Has the House of Lords been brought into disrepute by the allegations that four Labour peers were prepared to influence legislation in exchange for cash? The answer is resoundingly yes, even though all four deny any wrongdoing. The Times extracts of Lord Taylor of Blackburn boasting to undercover reporters of how much he can earn. Some companies that I work with will pay me 100,000 a year. 100,000? Oh, yeah. And that's cheap. That's cheap to what I do for them. Yeah. And other companies will pay me 25,000. Four Labour peers now face allegations that they were prepared to take money for help in amending the law. Lord Truscott was an energy minister until 18 months ago. Since leaving that job, he's become an advisor to no fewer than six energy companies. And in the last two months, he's asked seven questions about energy policy. According to the Sunday Times, Lord Truscott met their undercover reporters in the Lords and offered to work for up to £72,000. He boasted that meetings he'd had with civil servants and a minister had helped secure amendments to the energy bill, which helped a company which was paying him. The BBC has learnt that Lord Truscott did meet with officials at the business department and had lunch with the minister during the passage of the bill. Another peer in hot water is Lord Taylor, the 78-year-old former council leader who works for eight companies and boasts of what they pay him. Some companies that I work with will pay me 100,000 a year. 100,000? Oh, yeah. And that's cheap. Lord Mooney is a former defence minister who now works for three defence companies. In the last year, he's asked 43 detailed and technical questions about, yes, defence. All those facing accusations strenuously deny breaking the rules.